Welcome to another process video. There's Freddie looking out of the window. <laughs> I'm going to make these lovely cloth fabric tags. They're very simple. I'm going to use mostly napkins, tiny bit of fabric and pens, tiny bit of paint as well, but mostly fabric and napkins and they're very simple to make and simple in style. So I've got some blank ones here so come on down and have a look what I'm what I'm doing. <laughs> Freddie's looking out of the window there look. <laughs> As you see. Hmm. It's breakfast time here. I'm having a breakfast time, Tuesday morning breakfast time, a creative session. Get yourself a lovely beverage and come join me. <laughs> I took, to make these, I took some white cotton. It's an old sheet pillowcase. And then I tore off some and then popped it in a nice cup of black tea and and then yes let me show you then what I do so I made sure there was a nice ripped edge here let me show you there here's the here's the fabric all beautifully tea dyed <laughs> and then just dried out on the radiator. And then I scraped some gesso on, on it, just to give it a white background. And that's nice and dry now, so we can, we can play on that background. Let me move my toast here. Let me just move it over there. I shall finish that in a minute. So first of all, which one shall we make? Shall we make the mushroom one first? Yes. <laughs> I have this beautiful napkin. Melanie gave me these. And I've been, oh, I've used them in so many, so many projects. It has, here, trying to find the, the back of it. It's a, one of these, I'll take this one off. It's one of these lovely napkins that's three ply. Let's just tear that. On a, on a three ply napkin, let's take off. Oh, look, it's all ready because it's so been in the drawer for a long time. Take that backing bit off. On a three ply napkin, if you can see that in this light, you get a lovely ghost print. And I'm going to tear that off like this. And I'm going to put that on the back. Oh, do you know I've forgotten? First of all, I put I put the gesso down and then I put some ink stamp in the background. Oh yes. Let's put these there so you can see them as well. So yes, let's I've used stays on, but you don't have to use stays on. It's just because that's the dark ink I have. Um, stretch over. And choose just any background. Does it really matter what it's like? Because I'm literally just almost, it's a ghost of a print, just as a little background here. 
not really not really mattering too much. I'll do the others while I'm here. Because you never know how much time we will be able to spend together. That'd be lovely. Oh that one. I've done I've already done some printing on just with the brown ink. Yeah, there we are. That's it. That just popped that back. I always put the lid on to keep it juicy, but I have um I have a refill that I, I put on that. So yeah, let's I like this background best. So let's pop the ghost background on. I'm gonna tear it just to so we don't get any harsh edges. It's all nice and wispy there. And of course I've got dog hair there already. Of course, of course. There we are. And put the wispy ghost down. And that just adds just a little layer there. How wonderful. How wonderful. And then on this one, I've got of the napkin and then one fabric one so let's just choose these little ones I'm just going to rip them now my tag today is inspired by lovely Caroline let me show you the original this is the one that Caroline sent to me isn't it beautiful Caroline's done watercolour on hers, so there's another idea for you. And she's written on the back as well. She's used it as a gift tag, and it can be used as a gift tag or for your journals. Isn't it lovely? I think it's beautiful in its simplicity. I. So that is what I've been going for because today. Because you know normally I'm more, more, more. <laughs> but I've restrained myself. I haven't added stitches. Actually, I'd quite like to add a stitchy branch to that one. But I haven't added buttons. I haven't, yes, I've tried to keep it simple and just see, see how I like it. And I, I do, I do. There's that one, and this other little one. I think we're coming to the end of this pack of napkins. Melanie and I have used it so much because we just love, ah, oh, the little mushrooms in the forest floor are so magical. slow stitch on but I'm actually going to keep it very simple and I've got a little mushroom cut off there and I'm going to stick that on so little scraps so I've got here my little bag of scraps. I'm going to open that up and see if I can find. Here you go. Here it is. Oh, not the same one, but that's okay. Some of the 
the scrappy little bits. You just never know when you'll need the little bits and pieces. Let's cut a, a whimsical mushroom stalk here. I quite like these frayed edges here. I like that. So let's let's pop that one. Just pop it underneath. And pop that down. And of course, because you're doing this by hand, each one will be different. Oh look, I'm just getting these strands down here. Oh, it's lovely. I love that. All those strands. So then, that's wonderful. I'm going to, hopefully that one will dry. Shall we do another one? <laughs> Let's do another one. Now, in my drawer of napkins in the kitchen, on the dresser, I have I have some ready to use for Christmas when people come round for mince pies or nibbles, and it's also a three ply one. And look at it's got a beautiful ghost print. So I'm just going to tear some of this one. I don't have to be that accurate. Now, you will come up with your own spin on this idea. Oh, let me know. Let me know what you're doing. It'd be lovely. You'll have different ideas. We inspire one another. Thank you, Caroline, for the inspiration of your art. And yes, down in the comments, you'll be able to tell me and I'll see pictures. That's lovely. Oh, already. Just adds that. Just adds a wispy, magical background. That's lovely already. Got all the strands coming in it. And <laughs> oh, lovely. I've got some more of Caroline's art up. Let me show you. It's just opposite where I sit and I, I can overlook. It's Caroline's painting. Here we are. And I'll, yeah, it's just a case of, let's just rough it up a bit more. Doesn't seem to matter though, does it? With the yellow. This is very simple and doable, I think. But as Caroline did, some of you might want to do watercolour on yours. And oh, that would be wonderful if you did. Yeah, there we are. I'll pop that there like that. Wonderful. And that can dry. Because <laughs> it's got the... This is... The, the glue I'm using is in my jar is PVA, but you can use Mod Podge or, um, or Deco Podge glue or whatever you, Deco Patch glue. What do we need? We need our little robin. <laughs> so what I did with the bronze I had out yesterday, I made some little blobs and then 
on the blog because I've got a little red paint. Will it come out? Oh, yes, a lot. I will mop that up in a minute. And I made with my little finger a little to see which way up you think it might be. Then I added the little red, oh, Robin red breast on there. I'll just use that up a bit more. There you go. Here's one that's, here's one that's dry. Let's, let's tear that out. This is deli paper with a little bit of, with a little bit of gesso. So let's pop that down and fetch a pen. Did I put the pens away? I thought I'd put the pens out. Here's a pen. Pick any pen you like, any pen that comes to hand. And just follow the lines, really. Or, or go outside the lines and make a little tail. <laughs> it's this little... And then this little chest and comes up like this and then he'll have a little little beak rip the paper here where's his little beak there's his little beak and each one comes out like a little character oh he is cute little character this one he's very plumped up birds plump up their feathers oh how sweet <laughs> Oh, how sweet is that? <laughs> mm. And he's ready to sit on that holly. <laughs> Let's just rip that a bit more. As I was saying, it would be nice to I might not embroider the branch. I might just put the branch on in the same pen that I wrote in because, yeah, just to keep it, keep it simple. But you do your own thing. Ah, this pen that I used wasn't quite, I will have to come in again later because it wasn't, it was one that moved when you added liquid to it. That's fine. I will come in later and um, sort that little robin out. <laughs> and then the only thing I came in later when that's dry well, is I came in with one of my little mushroom stamps and stamped on here. And I, inspired by Caroline, I use my own handwriting to write. I used, I used a brown pen. So, yes. Let's still spend a little bit of time together and I'll make, I'll make this last little one. We'll make it together, but face to face so we can have a little chat. <laughs> it is great that we can spend this time together. <laughs> mm. I think you get the general idea, so I think I will just, we'll make another one together while we just sit and have a chat. I'm wondering whether, you know, the, it, it ran. I think I'm going to take that little robin off there and I'm going to make another one because the pen ran. There we are. I'll make another one once that's, oh it's still dry, it's still wet for the minute. I'll make another one. Maybe I, did I use the same pen? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> So there we are, let's, let's do one more. 
I've got a lovely napkin here that Jennifer sent me. Isn't that gorgeous? Birds and bloom. And it, that also is a three ply one and has just such a lovely ghost print. I'm not going for anything specific. I've just got a little bit of red and colour here. <laughs> It's nice to spend this time together with we're, we're doing something simple and gentle and you don't even have to you don't even have to create along with me some people are doing their own thing and working or tidying and some of you I know are using it just as a way to switch off and, and relax, that's lovely. And if it also, if this helps you just to fall to sleep, I think that's wonderful too. I really do. <laughs> I'm gonna choose one of these gorgeous flowers here. I'll choose the red one. It's a lovely napkin. this evening to watch the football, the World Cup. So I'm going to, we're going to have a walk first. We're meeting Honey and Irie in the park. He's already having a rest. He's still looking out of the window, longing to go out. It's still early, Freddy. That wouldn't affect him, would it? He'd, he'd go out. He loves going out for his walks, but quite content, quite content to wait. So yeah, <laughs> so what I'm going to make a uh, shepherd's pie today. I think the correct term is cottage pie, but we call it shepherd's, I call it shepherd's pie, minced beef and onions with a mashed potato topping. And I haven't got a very sophisticated palette because I have baked beans with mine. <laughs> and I know some people in the States, they make shepherd's pie or cottage pie. Because we were talking about that on, our, on the stream yesterday, how... Some people in the States haven't heard of, uh, we were talking about sweet mince pies, I'll show you those maybe next week, and, and others, others have, and I think that they, they were saying in chat that's because some people had heritage, their family had come from over from Brit places in Britain, so they, they were used to these things. I've got a little bird from the napkin here. And I'm just going to pop that on. And can you see how easy and simple this these are? And I wanted to do that to honour this gorgeous one that Caroline sent me. <laughs> I'm going to put that back in a Christmas journal know how I found it. I think I was poking through. I went up to the, where is it? I went, let me, um, let me scrape the chair for you. I went up, oh, it's on a desk. I went in the loft to find the Christmas tree. I didn't find the Christmas tree. I've looked in all the rooms. I think it might be in the kitchen loft. Sam will get up there and look later. But I found this gorgeous little box and I think it was in there it's 
Oh, I put that in there the other day. It's got lots of little Christmas bits and pieces that I've saved. So, uh, yes. So I think it was in there. So it's going to find a home this year in my Christmas journal. Let's pop that down somewhere. I don't want that to fall. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just a case of now adding maybe a little stamp and adding a little tassel too. <laughs> On this napkin, there were words. And the words garden came from the napkin, actually. Let's see if there's any left. Oh, there is. Yeah, so I'm going to put that on. I'll probably do that later because I think that you get the idea now. Let's, before we go, let's make a little banner. They're going to be dinky now. I've got a few of the bigger matches left. Let's make a banner. Little ban we're making the banners with our matchsticks. And a word, one of the words that came up, if you look on my community tab, there's a whole list of positive words that I put up yesterday from yesterday's stream that you will be Maybe you will feel you want to use it in your journals. The prompts are there too. And today's word is flourish. I'm going to find the glue. And glue this on. Here. There. I can send that in Happy Mail or use it in my journal. Just going to pop it up here just as encouragement for the day. <laughs> and let's light. We'll be making tiny banners now, won't we? Let's light a candle. I'm lighting this candle. For those that are weary, those that are recovering, and for those that are struggling what's become their new reality. leave that there and I will blow it out before I leave the room don't worry and I will say goodbye thank you for joining me goodbye from Freddie <laughs> and from Flo who is busy with her Christmas journal over here um, oh you do like to work in a mess all your these are all the papers you're collecting ah oh. Well, I look forward to seeing your your Christmas journal flow. I really do. <laughs> Take care, everyone. I love how these tree roots make steps up the hill. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh. And if we look, yes, the leaves. 
They've gone from the trees now. <laughs> oh, come on then, Freddy. Up we go. Oh, lovely. It's beautiful. and shiny rainy leaves. Oh. <laughs> Found some holly berries. Absolutely beautiful. 